Okay, in my VMware, I'm setting up internet connection sharing on Windows Server 2008. Um, I have uh, two computers, uh, the uh, Windows Server 2008 and Windows 7. Windows 7 has one network card, and they're both connected to host only. Um, take a look at the settings from my VMware workstation. This is the server. Server virtual settings, I have one, the first network adapter is host only. And the second network adapter I have as bridge. That's connected to my normal network that my host computer is connected to so it can get out over the internet. Um, so this is going to be acting as my NAT router, uh, the server is. And this is my workstation, Windows 7. If I take a look at the settings for it, it is configured to use host only. So it's connected to host only and can communicate to the server. If I open up the command prompts. And I type IP config. You can see my IP address for my host only network is 172.16.0.100. And I'm going to now ping 172.16.0.10, which is my server. Okay, as you can see that you cannot ping from the host only network uh, internet IP address. It doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is enable internet connection sharing. And to do that, I go into control panel and open up network connections. <coughs> Under network connection sharing. And in here I'm going to look at my network adapters. Now, some things with the internet connection sharing is it automatically changes <coughs> your IP address to 192.168.0 network. And we, of course, as I demonstrated, want to be in the 172.16 network. So, just to make sure my local area network connection, take a look at the properties. This is my host only adapter, and my IP version 4 address is 172.16.0.10. I took away the default gateway because the default gateway for this server is going to be using my other bridged connection which is connected to my lab. And this is running Active Directory. It's using itself for a DNS. So I have the DNS service running on this server. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at my second network adapter. This is the bridge <coughs> network adapter. I'm going to go to Properties and take a look at IP version 4. And it will <coughs> automatically obtain an IP address. Now, since this is the connection that's going to be shared, I do not need any of the client from Microsoft Network services file printer sharing, or any other setting. All I need is TCP IP version, IP version 4 to be able to route my packets out to the internet and use NAT. Then I click the sharing tab and I check allow other network users connect through this computer's internet connection. I close and see it says my LAN adapter, which is my other local area connection, number one, is going to be changing its IP address to 192.68.0.1. So I need to take heed, say yes, and go back and change that IP address to 172.16.0.10. So I go back to my local area connection, properties, and if I change that, okay, thank you. Change my IP version 4. Letting me, I gotta wait. Oh, let's try. Our properties. See how it changed it. So I'm gonna change this to 172 to 16 to 0 to 10. Keeping my 24-bit uh, mask, my 255 to 255 to 255 to 0. And again, I'm using my own DNS server to resolve names. So I hit OK and close. Now, just to make sure, go to command prompt on my server. I should be able to get out over the internet. And if I do a trace route to 8.8.8, it's going to go to my lab and then out over the internet. So that's working. I go back to my workstation. I'm on my Windows 7 workstation here. Remember, before I could not ping out. Now I hit ping again, and this time it's actually working. So 
or I do a trace route here, you can see that the first location it's going to go to is my 172.16.0.10 address. So if you haven't had those settings changed yet, you're going to have to make sure that you set them. And we can change those static IP addresses. Um, so change it to use the following IP, 172.16.0.100, or any other IP address that's available in the 172.16.0 network. The correct subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And my default gateway is 172.16.0.10, because that is the IP address of my server. And of course that server is also running DNS, so I set my preferred DNS server to the same IP address. So my gateway and DNS is going to be the same server. Hit OK. And close. And again, here's my trace out showing that I can get out to the internet, out to Google, and we're all good.